Let me tell you a story of heroes, of adventurers, warriors, masters of will. Old legends spun and retold as the night closes in. But this world is young and ready to make legends of its own. All across Albion, a brave few are turning their backs on the campfire's light, defying the magic that lurks in the untamed wilds. And heroes? Well, rumors of their return burn like wildfire, spreading from an old town ablaze with new ambition. And so those would-be heroes travel the road to Bright Lodge, seeking fame and fortune, justice, or glory. Let's start the operation. Tipple was no stranger to taking a long walk for a short fight, but he was out of practice, and this walk was rather longer than he'd hoped. Bright Lodge had better be close. ain't easy. I guess I'm taking the long way round.
prize fights have become something of a rarity. Clobbering a load of red caps might be fun, but it wasn't going to pay the bills. Such a mess of my petunias. Of course. I'll do everything I can to help. By the way, what's your blood type? Oh, hey, you. Any good with a bucket? Only this fella's got a red cap problem, and I could do with someone to help catch the blood. so-and-so has run off with the first sniff of a red cap. Well, help yourself to that chest he presumed I'd drag along after him. That'll learn him a lesson. Well, how about that? You must be off to Bright Lodge too, I reckon. Yeah. I'm Leech, by the way. I'll shake your hand, but uh, I should probably wash him first. Now, this was more like it. Clobbering red caps might pay the bills after all. And even better, here was a bit of company for the rest of the journey. Well, have that! You are too. Shall we make a party of it? Happy yeah. to help. Yeah. Oh, no. If it hadn't worked out, at least we've been able to do something with your gallbladder. Right. Let's get cracking, shall we?
Tipple hadn't put a lot of stock in the hero rumors, but all these people... Perhaps there was something in it after all. believe what's up in those ruins. It's some sort of horrible goat. Wanna come and have a look? Ooh, mysterious goings on in abandoned ruins. Now things are really getting exciting. Tipple was yet to meet a creature that couldn't be dealt with by the liberal application of fists. He strode on in buoyant mood. Bound to get around in when they got to Bright Lodge. Come on, tough it up! Let me know if this leaves, Dodge Man! Nice little 
Oh, bonus! Tibble had earned his crust in far shabbier places, though perhaps none so precariously placed. So that's Bright Lodge. Bit of a funny looking old place. Delivering more flowers, you're too late. We're nearly ready to start the. Oh, blimey. More heroes. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Welcome to Bright Lodge, the pride of Albion and seat of Wendell Glass the Magnificent. You can go in now. Everyone's been waiting. Look at you. So dusty, and is that blood? Goodness, you can't meet the keep dressed like that. <laughs> Go and see Mergo. He'll sort you out with something nice. I really want to go inside and see the decorations, so if you don't mind hurrying up. Get a move on, hero. Everyone's waiting for you. What a party! For a moment, Tipple was transported back to his glory days, when crowds like this cheered for him, week in, week out.
vile legacy. I don't think this could have gone any better. I knew this day would come. I built this town up from the rocks, and now you, the heroic peach on my kingly pudding. Now, I'll be opening the festivities in just a few minutes, and I want you front and center. But before that great honor, I've just one thing to ask. Could you pop by my boy? He's a quiet sort. And it's a do him good to see a real hero. Everything's coming together perfectly. The flowers have arrived. The heroes have arrived. What a town! I'm not the Wendell Glass you're after. Oh. Hello. I suppose Father sent you. He does so like to keep me included. Still, nice to see a friendly face. Oh, yes, I, I had to give you a message. Wendell Glass Hall would very much like it if you posed for a portrait. Would you be able to pop down and uh, see Colin? Colin's just downstairs. He'll be ever so excited to see you. Why, hello. Goodness, look at you. Nothing like my initial sketches. Well, we'll soon sort that out. Bright Lodge must have an accurate record of this momentous occasion. in a jiffy. Everything I'd hoped, and more. <clears throat> Citizen, subjects of Bright Lodge, we stand at the dawn of a new age, an age of kings, an age of heroes. The myths of the past are returned to us, and it is I, Wendell Glass the First who has brought them to you. No more do we need fear the world beyond the bridge. No more shall we cower in homes of mud and stone. No more! <laughs> My children, stolen from their home, stolen from me, from life itself. You wanted them, Wendell Glass. You wanted their adoration. Let me look at you. You don't deserve them. And so, you shall join them. 
What had just happened? Had that plant stolen the king? Tipple was certain he hadn't imagined it this time. But there was only one way to be sure. To turn up. Reckon we'll best get after him then. Can't let them cuttings get away. And uh, obviously we want him to live. Bright Lodge was safe, at least for the time being. There was a little pruning to do, but the town would recover. The two Wendell glasses, however, were another matter entirely. Who, what, had taken them? What did she want? While those questions lingered, there was little doubt as to where they'd been taken. The Rosewood. This dark forest ringed the villages south of Bright Lodge, and was the stage for many strange stories, the morals of which were always, don't pick the roses. The heroes, caught in the thrill of the chase, arrived at the wood's edge. But now those stories flooded back, and they hesitated. What was waiting within?
I came here to be a hero, and I've ended up a gardener. They really call themselves heroes. It's scarcely done more than walk a long way and have a party. But heroes or not, Wendell Glass was counting on them. They moved through the forest, clearing it as easily as they'd cleared Bright Lodge. They really were heroes. This is why strangers don't throw parties. Too many are known. The wisps that had sung to them filled the forest. They seemed harmless, but their song was the Lady of Rosewoods, who was anything but.
back! No! Close! Back! Every victory, the newfound heroes grew in confidence. The Lady of Rosewood was no match for Albion's champions. The forest sang an old rhyme, the song of the White Lady. The heroes were not alone in stepping out of myth and into Bright
Even as the flowers grew dense around them, the heroes pushed on. They must be getting close to their missing king and to the Lady of Rosewood. I don't care. A hairy hump's back end by your sex. You know, you know, in, in the ring, you're all on your own. But out here, I've got no, you no. two. A three. I've got you lot. Thank you. But what's happening? What's going to happen to father? Oh, that... <clears throat> this <laughs> won't be the end of Arthur Cadwana Wendell Glass. They called me cruel, but it was they who ripped my sleeping children from their beds. <laughs> the price must be paid. She had invaded their new home, killed their king. The Lady of Rosewood must be stopped. Why do you defend him? Not I'm gonna 
The Lady of Rosewood left the heroes to collect their two broken kings. The roses refreshed by royal blood. They took the Wendell glasses back to Bright Lodge and wondered how long this reprieve would last. They may be heroes, but there was still an awful lot to learn. Bright Lodge needed a king now more than ever. And much to young Wendell Glass's distress, people seem to expect him to do it. His father's legacy, his heroes, his town, rested on his shoulders nearly as badly as the crown rested on his head. It was all a little too much to bear. If there was a hero barrel, they'd be at the bottom of it.
my top floor. You're not my cup of anything, let alone tea. Those heroes might know a thing or two about killing pucks, but they need lessons in pain manners. Ladies and gentlemen, you won't believe your eyes when you see my death. Have you passed up an opportunity to purchase one of Murgo's rare chests? Step into Murgo's chest bazaar for the best chests in Brightlock. Ravishing outfits for your perusal. All apparel made by hand from uh, locally sourced materials.
sure you'd brush up wonderfully if you tried. I'm going to render this ghost properly. Ah, yes. Malice. Fascinating. Imagine having to act against your nature. The mind boggles. Heroes are such fascinating subjects, don't you agree? Drew that when heroes first arrived here. Note the expectancy in the gaze. Magic is in her very core. I hope I was able to capture that. to battle without a weapon is a mistake you only make once. And I'm here for your fishy flotsam, rods, bait, and everything in between. <laughs> oh, Murgo's Chest Bazaar is at your disposal. Thank you. 